I am Ahmed Zaini. My project title is Flipping the Anatomy Classroom Future Learning. Anatomy is one of the broad subjects that require memorization and understanding in the preclinical phase. Most of the anatomical information are delivered through traditional lectures in which the teacher is a primary disseminator of the knowledge, which lack with lack of student engagement. Innovative teaching methods have solved this problem through recent modalities like flipped classroom. The aim of the current study to apply the, this approach in teaching anatomy to promote active learning and critical thinking. The study was conducted on 90 male students at the University College of Medicine in four anatomy labs in musculoskeletal module for the first year student. Our session was given to the anatomy faculties and students before the implementation. The plan of work is subdivided into three class activity, uploading the learning materials on learning Imagine the system, system as presentation and videos. In class activity, form of pre discussion test, creative, creativity presentation of the, our students' discussion and post discussion test. This photo represents part of the uh, assessment uh, done during in class activity, and these two photos represent some of the creative, innovative uh, uh, input of our students. These bar charts represent part of the pre and post discussion test with their statistical analysis. Post class activity form of self-directed learning of our students, formative assessment and survey monkeys for both students and staff. The results, flip classroom gave a high opportunity for the student-centered learning. It encouraged student engagement. It emphasized on higher learning levels. It allowed the student to practice self-assessment Workshop, workshop sessions were conducted for other medical colleges within and outside Qasim universities. The uh, field classroom adopted as a learning modality in the new curriculum based upon survey analysis for our faculties, as well as survey uh, uh, analysis for student satisfaction. And this part of the, our feedback, so student feedback in our college, it gives uh, Philip Castron gives better understanding of the subject, subject and it improves the student deep learning. Conclusion, Philip Castron allows fair sharing of knowledge. It provides sufficient time to fill, fill knowledge gap. It minimizes the absence rate among students. It promotes clinical analytical thinking. Uh, I would like to express my special gratitude to my FEMR advisory, Dr. Yasser Wazir and Dr. Adil Abdelaziz for their valuable assistance and supervision. Thank you.